of Hollywood, The Judy Canova Show. Brought to you each week by the Colgate Palm Olive Pete Company, who also bring you this extra special announcement. A great new 1948 Super Suds with extra suds for extra whiteness. No soap in the world can wash clothes whiter. Remember, it's a great new 1948 Super Suds. The Judy Canova Show with Mel Blanc, Ruby Dandridge, Joe Kearns, Ruth Parrott, Hans Conried, Ed Max, The Sportsman, Charles Danton, his orchestra, and starring Judy Canova. <laughs> Thought about you all day Can't believe it is so Ask myself if you love me And the echo said no Thought I'd see you around Where we once used to go Ask if you're thinking of me And the echo said no I can't help wondering, darling, where you are you are and who you are alone with while I keep talking on the phone with myself. Dreamed about you last night. You were whispering low. It was only a whisper. But the echo said, huh. I can't help wondering where you are and how you are and who you are. Alone with While I keep talking on the phone with myself Dreamed about you last night You were whispering low It was only a whisper But the echo But the echo But the echo said no Well, today, Judy has an appointment at Paragon Studios with two movie directors who have signed her for a screen test. At the moment, we find her at Monsieur Henri's beauty shop getting the full treatment. Say, Monster Henri, how are we coming along? Miss Canova, will you please stop chewing that bu bubble gum? Shucks, <laughs> ain't bubble gum, bub. It's just an old tie tube. <laughs> well, stop it. My nerves are simply screaming today. As it is, I say, as it is, your face looks like a $3 retread with a slow leak. <laughs> oh, well, thank goodness, here comes Herman. I'll ask him what to do. Who's Herman? He's my new assistant. He's one of the smartest beauty operators in the business. Oh, Herman, Herman, come here. We want your advice. Now, here, take a look at Miss Canova's face. Well? Put on the mud pack. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. Let me see now. A precision control, <laughs> ultra motion wave would fluff out the curls and give a saucy bouffant contour to the entire facial ensemble. Yeah, and while you're at it, check the gas and oil, too. <laughs> Get over. Please, this situation is serious. Don't you think so, Herman? Put on the mud pack. <laughs> well, that's what I like. New ideas. Yes, sir. Miss Canova, please, you're liable to drive poor Herman to his wit's end. It won't be much of a drive, will it? <laughs> oh, will you please hush? This is a delicate treatment, and it requires a firm and steady technique. Hey, am I getting a beauty treatment, or am I appendix took out? Oh, heavens do, Betsy. What shall I do? Who's on the mud? Now, please, temper, 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 after all. All right, I'm ready now. I'll put on the mud pack. What for? <laughs> Golly, I know people with one-track minds, but this poor fella got sidetracked. Mm. Now, uh, sit still, Miss Canova. This little machine will do the trick. There we are. Now, is there anything you need? Yeah, a bath. <laughs> Wonderful, everything's coming my way this week. What do you mean, Judy? Well, first signing from a screen test, and now on Saturdays, my program follows Frank Sinatra. Yes, Judy, and Frank Sinatra can do a lot for you. Yeah, and I could do a lot for him. I could give that poor kid a square meal. <laughs> Why, do you know that a mosquito bit Frankie once, and the mosquito lost blood on the deal? <laughs> he did. 
Yeah, Maggie, but you know there's something about Frankie Boy when he clings to that microphone and says in that romantical voice of his. Pardon me for talking in her face, Senorita. <laughs> Pedro, what makes you look so down in the mouth? Well, Senorita, my new girlfriend had an accident. She got her head caught in a waffle iron. <laughs> oh, gee, Pedro, that's terrible. See, now she can't use any makeup. Just butter and syrup. <laughs> Collies, I sure like her. I call her my great big Empire State Building. Empire State Building? See. She's really built. <laughs> well, tell me, uh, what's her real name, Pedro? Oh, her real name is Rosita Pepita Conchita Manuela Francisco Maria O'Sullivan. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. How did O'Sullivan get in there? He made a mistake. He thought it was a conga line. <laughs> <laughs> Senorita, my girlfriend is always playing tricks on me. Playing tricks? What kind of tricks, Pedro? Well, last night I was at her house and... We were sitting on a sofa. She snuggled up real close to me. And then she turned out all the lights and said, let's play post office. Well, what's wrong with that? By the time I got back from the drugstore with the stamp, she was gone. <laughs> oh, golly, I'm late. I got to get over to the studio and meet them movie directors. Well, saludos, amigos, senorita. A salad and a meatball to you, too, Paige. <laughs> Howdy, fellas. Well, Miss Canova in the flesh. Yep, I never go nowhere without it. <laughs> Golly, I sure hope I'm the girl you fellas are looking for for that movie. Well, frankly, Miss Canova, we want a girl who is tender and soft. A girl who is a little bit of everything rolled into one. Shucks, you don't want a girl. You want a leftover meatball. <laughs> Miss Canova, the role we have in mind demands a lot of experience. Yes, I want a girl who has lived the part she plays, a girl who has suffered. Look at my face. Can't you tell I've suffered? <laughs> yes, but don't make us suffer with you. <laughs> Miss Canova, if this role is going to be true to life, we'll need a girl who's had a tough struggle. That's why I want a girl who's had the fight to live. Well, I've had the fight to live. I know, but I want a winner. <laughs> so, Miss Canova, before you step before the camera, we want you to be letter perfect. We want to eliminate all your peculiarities. Okay, yes. I'm willing. Miss Canova, have you any little uh, idiosyncrasies that we don't know about? Shucks, no, I ain't even married. <laughs> well, uh, how about your talents? Do you have any special talents? Oh, yeah, once I took lessons in ballet dancing. Is ballet dancing helpful? Oh, sure, I learned to jump up and do the split. One time I jumped up to do a split, I got down all right, but when I tried to get up again, I couldn't get out of it. Well, what happened? For three weeks, I walked around like I was going over a high hurdle. <laughs> yes, sir. Then when I got back to my normal way of walking, I got so dizzy, I fell flat on my face. Yeah. That was strange. Did you finally recover your equilibrium? Shucks, nobody told me it was uncovered. <laughs> Miss Canova, we'll be compelled to send our dramatic coach over to your house. Why, you have no finesse, no savoir-faire, no, uh, eclat. Yeah, eclat. You mean chocolate eclat? Oh. <laughs> well, I can't eat them. They make me fat. I don't oh, like Miss them. Canova, he means you need some polish. Well, how about Johnson's glow coat? Oh, no, Miss Canova. Yeah? Miss Canova, you may not be the biggest idiot in the world, but you're right next to one. Well, don't worry. If I'm crowding you too much, you can move away. <laughs> Super suds, super suds, lots more suds for whiter duds. It's new. It's great. It's the new 1948 super suds with extra suds for extra whiteness. Extra, extra! No other soap in the world can wash clothes whiter than new 1948 super suds. No other soap can remove more dirt, wash clothes cleaner, wash clothes whiter. And you need no bleach. The famous laboratories of Colgate Palm Olive Peat Company have just released the greatest super suds ever made. Increased amounts of costly ingredients were added to the sudsing wonder super suds to make even more suds. To wash white clothes even whiter. And colors stay bright, too. So, for the whitest, cleanest super suds wash you ever had, 
Get new 1948 Super Suds. With extra suds for extra whiteness at your dealers now. Extra! Extra! No other soap in the world can wash clothes whiter. Super Suds, Super Suds, lots more suds for whiter duds. Now back to Judy Canova and her own unusual interpretation of I Ain't Got Nobody. <laughs> Don't they want to enjoy the picture? Honey, in the last row of the balcony, who's looking at the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, uh, what, what kind of pictures do you like the best, Uranium? Well, the pictures I want to see the most is that one about the Los Angeles driver who stops for a pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> well, what picture is that? Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> me a dollar and a half. Dollar and a half? How come? Tickets are only 75 cents. I know, but I have to buy two seats. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheranium, you see, if you were a kid, you could get in at half price, but you're an adult now. Yeah, honey, that's right, an adult. <laughs> that's a person who stops growing at both ends and starts growing in the middle. <laughs> Judy, Judy, the dramatic coach who's going to help you with your screen test is here to see you. Thanks, Aunt Aggie. Oh, howdy, Professor. Greetings, greetings, fair pupils. <laughs> I, Ronald Prodigum, Shakespearean actor, director, diction coach, entrepreneur, raconteur, converser, and gentleman of fine breeding, am at your service. <laughs> is my pupil ready? Yes, the pew is, Phil. <laughs> no, I mean the pupil is. Please, you make a joke. Now you make one. <laughs> and we could use one right about here. Miss Canova, let us dispense with levity. All right. Now, here is the script. Begin to read your part, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. 
Lord Reginald, I love you, I love you. Fade in, long shot. <laughs> Road leading to farm. Bird Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Miss Canova, that is not what you say. That is what you do. Eliminate the last part. What part? Your tweet. Your tweet. You kind of tweet yourself. <laughs> Proceed, Miss Canova. Okay. <laughs> we have guests coming tonight. What are we having for dinner? Father? <laughs> Heaven take my soul and England my bones. <laughs> Miss Canova, let us try this other scene together, huh? You play the part of a well-educated, extremely intelligent girl. I do? Yes, you're only acting, of course. <laughs> now, I play the part of your mother. Well, what do I call you? Mother. <laughs> okay. Mother. Yes? Mother, you need a shave. <laughs> Oh, shucks. I can't call you mother. I never even call my mother. Let us get this family thing settled right now. What did your father call your mother? To her face or when her back was turned. <laughs> Miss Canova, would you mind if I turn the electric fan on my head? What for? I want to blow myself! <laughs> the way you read lines, you sound like a girl who was born on a farm. Well, I was born on a farm back in Cactus Junction. Cactus Junction? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it sure was a swell place, too. Something was always going on back there. Well, I remember one day, Ma was saying to Pa, she walked over to him and she said to him, she said, Get up, Pa. Get up, you lazy critter. <sighs> Oh, gosh, Ma. Come on, Pa, get up. You've been a sitting in that chair for three days now, just a, a rocking and a rocking. I know, but that's better than doing nothing. <laughs> no eggs for breakfast lately. Ain't that new hen laying all right? Sure, Pa. That hen's going to lay for a long time. How do you know, Ma? She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eat this vegetable stew, Pa. Oh, Ma. <laughs> There's something in this stew. Pa, you should know to keep looking at what's on your plate. Well, what's on my plate keeps looking at me. <laughs> oh, look, Ma, it's a grasshopper. <coughs> He's got that big eye open looking right at me. Oh, I'll stare him down, Pa. Yonder, Pa. Here comes Judy's dumb boyfriend, Lukey, a cartner again. How de Luke. Oh, boy. Say, did you lose? No, I was, I was hard to... Oh, Lord, 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 Grandpa put a stick of dynamite in his mouth and blew it out all his teeth. <laughs> what was he doing with a stick of dynamite in his mouth? Well, he thought it was a tootsie roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm glad you come over here. We've been a wanting to talk to you. Can you support our duty? Yeah, Lukey. What do you do for a living? Oh, I just keep breathing in and out. 
Lukey, you've sure made a mess of your life. Mess? <laughs> if you think this is a mess, where do you see what I got lined up for the future, boy? <laughs> well, if you folks will excuse me, I'm going in and court that Judy. Boy, dingy old donkeys, I sure do love that girl. She does that. <laughs> Oh, while she was asleep and the health inspector was here, he said this house ain't fitting for pigs to live in. Ma, if we can stand it, the pigs can too. <laughs> yeah, and the health inspector says that Judy's got to be vaccinated, Pa. He says he can vaccinate her while it won't show. Well, where are you going to have her vaccinated? Do you figure back of the woodshed would be a good place? <laughs> well, do you? Uh, Ma, where's Willie? The teacher sent him home from school with a note. She said, well, it don't smell good. <laughs> so I read her a note. What'd you say, Ma? Ma says, dear teacher, don't smell, Willie. Learn him. <laughs> to do the chores, Pa. I'll milk the goats and plow the corn. <laughs> and that, Mr. Frothingham, gives you an idea of what my life was like before the movies came after me. Good grief, Miss Canova. What'd you think of it? Abominable. Miss Canova, I never would have worked with you on this motion picture script had I known the cross-eyed bear. And I feel the same way. What do you mean? I ain't gonna work in no movie with a cross-eyed bear. <laughs> Everybody, hey, Lord. Hey, Lord, is the shampoo that glorifies your hair. So, hey, Lord, everybody, hey, Lord. Use Halo shampoo if you want naturally bright and beautiful hair. Remember, even finest soaps and soap shampoos hide the natural luster of your hair with dulling soap film. But Halo contains no soap, therefore cannot leave dulling soap film. The first time you use Halo, your hair glistens in all its natural brilliance. The natural color and luster shine through like sunshine through a clean window pane. And remember, even in hardest water, Halo makes oceans of rich, fragrant lather. Halo quickly carries away loose dandruff and grease. Needs no lemon or vinegar rinse because Halo leaves no dulling soap film. Nothing to hide your hair's natural beauty. Say hello to Halo and goodbye to dulling soap film. Use Halo on your children's hair, too. Get Halo shampoo at any cosmetic counter. Remember... Halo glorifies your hair. So hello, everybody, halo, halo, shampoo, halo. Now back to Judy Canova and the sportsman singing the beautiful ballad, Just an Old Love of Mine. Just an old love of mine. That began with dinner and wine. But I 
Let the other people win. We'll be back in a moment. This is Howard Petrie asking you to use Halo Shampoo to glorify your hair and the new 1948 Super Suds with extra suds for extra whiteness. Now here's Judy. Thank you, Howard. Folks, it was awfully nice being with you tonight, and I hope we'll all be together again next Saturday night. In the meantime, please don't forget the two products that bring us together each week. Halo Shampoo and Super Suds, the bestest in the world. This is Judy Canova from Hollywood singing. Go to sleepy little baby. Go to sleepy little baby. When you wake your patty patty cake, ride a tiny little pony. Daddy's coming home to baby. Daddy's coming home to baby. Stop your crying. The Judy Canova Show is written by Fred Fox and Henry Hooper with John Ward and is produced and directed by Joe Ryan. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning teeth. For Colgate cleans teeth thoroughly, safely, brings out natural sparkle and beauty. And scientific tests prove conclusively that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. So always use Colgate Dental Cream after you eat and before every date. To clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Stay tuned to Kay Kaiser's College of Musical Knowledge for this new feature, Comedy of Errors, which follows immediately. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. Mm-hmm.